In this video, we're going to set up Seascape 9.7 for the first time. I've previously downloaded Seascape from HornerAutomation.com and executed the install program. Seascape is now fully installed and open with a default project. After a clean install of Seascape, this is what you see. Just the pull-down menus and the ladder development areas of the screen. This is called Classic Mode and represents the most basic Seascape desktop. After this clean install, we'll want to set up the desktop to add some of the additional editing tools that make the application development process more productive. We'll only need to do this once, and then the setup remains configured from that point forward. Let's get started. We can start here, in the Tools, Application Settings area. First, we want to deselect the checkbox for Use Seascape Classic Mode. Next, we also want to deselect Use Classic Toolbars for Logic Element Selection. Finally, for those of you who like to develop using IEC 1131 languages, you'll want to add support for that program type as well. Now I press OK. As soon as I do that, my untitled project closes. The next step is to open a new program from File, New. The first thing you'll notice is that every time I open a new project, I now have the ability to choose between IEC and Advanced Ladder for the control portion of the new project. For this video, I'm going to select Advanced Ladder. More differences are now apparent. We have some toolbars here at the top of the screen, which will give us shortcuts for commonly executed functions, like Upload, Download, Start, Stop, etc. We also have this vertical toolbar, which provides us with shortcuts to some of the most commonly placed ladder logic elements like normally opened and normally closed contacts, coils, timers, and counters. Let's continue the enhancements from the View Toolbars area. Here we can systematically select additional toolbars and dock them wherever we'd prefer. We'll also have the ability to move them later on. Once I've added all the toolbars, I'm now ready to add a couple of additional key elements to the editing area. From the Tools menu, we can select Project Navigator. You'll notice it immediately docks to the left. The Project Navigator is a key feature. From here, we can navigate to all the various sections of Seascape, Control, Graphics, and Networking. In the control area, we can add additional logic modules to the main loop to help us better organize our program. And from here, we can also add subroutine modules to execute more efficiently code which is only selectively required. Next, we'll go back to Tools and select Project Toolbox. You'll see it's immediately docked. The Project Toolbox organizes all the advanced ladder instructions into categories where they can be easily retrieved as we develop our program. With both of these tools docked, we can make adjustments such as sizing, and we can also place them side by side if we'd prefer, whatever we want. With this customization complete, I can close Seascape. Now, the next time I open it, you'll notice that the desktop is just as I left it.